Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to episode 64 of the FIFA 20 My Player Career and we are coming towards the end of the series now. Um, we've got I think three more episodes to do, I have got them all ed edited up, ready to go. Um, so today is obviously um, episode 64, tomorrow will be 65 and then Saturday will be the final episode of the whole series of this match day, uh, sorry not match day live. There will be a match day live episode later, it's just because I just recorded a match day live episode a second ago. Um, but I think that's on Sunday Arsenal play um, but this is going to be the final um, three episodes of this series I do apologize for not being able to upload the last few days um, I don't know if you've been on my Twitter or follow me on Twitter I have had a um, pretty bad time recently still going through it but hopefully we can get back to some kind of normality um, so that's why I thought I'd try and record some voiceovers for this today and try and feel a bit better so I do apologise for that guys, bear with me and we'll be back on track in no time, hopefully. Uh, also, we are looking for um, suggestions on what um, series to do next. Um, I am thinking of using an actual player, uh, like one of the youngsters, uh, maybe um, in the Premier League or somewhere else. We'll have to wait and see on that. Leave me suggestions below anyway. And what you think we should be doing, whether it should be another um, creative player like that we used to use Kai or an actual player in real life, maybe one of the youngsters like I said, like um, Saka and Ketier, Bellingham, um, anybody from abroad as well of course. Um, so let me know and I'll keep them all into consideration and then uh, it won't be long before we do start a brand new series. Uh, so I look forward to that. Also, we're we'll trying to get back onto Twitch as well, heading into those streams. Um, away from Twitter, uh, sorry, away from FIFA they will be. Um, mainly Valorant or Escape from Tarkov, something of those sorts. Because uh, those are the games which we do like to stream. But let's continue on with this one then. And as you can see, we have got the first goal in today's game. And we are away from home. We can't really do much in the Premier League. I think the title is out of our reach. So we're just trying to finish as high as possible. That is Lucas Trey's first Premier League goal of the season. I thought he had more um, so far, but obviously not. We still have a chance as well in the Cup. Uh, Europe, Europe, I was going to say Europa Cup, but we are in the Champions League, of course. Um, so maybe, just maybe, we can end on a huge high with this series. Hopefully Kai can lift some silverware before it is over. Kai goes all the way through. Oh, what was that? Terrible effort there from Kai. He did all the hard work, got past the defenders, cuts inside, takes off the shot, but no real power in it, and straight into the hands of the Stoke goalkeeper. But maybe another chance here for Arsenal. Here is Kai yet again, going to get the ball just outside the area, cuts it back, some space opens up, crosses, header is there, blocked by the defender, but oh, I was going to say, um, but the shot was in and on target, but it was, it just hit the uh, the post there and bounces clear, Maximiliano Gomez it was with that second effort for Arsenal, still in the first half and we're still looking for a second goal and there it is, and it is that man who we just mentioned, Maximiliano Gomez, he gets Arsenal second of the game. And that should really be the three points then for the Gunners. Nice finish there. Goalkeeper no chance. Straight in between the two defenders. And there he is to score his 13th Premier League goal of the season so far. So on would we go. Uh, still in the first half though. Just trying to keep a clean sheet before the break. Can we do so? That's a poor clearance there. Is it going to go out of play? It is. So it's going to be a late throw in here for Stoke City in the first period. Or are they going to be able to get themselves a goal back and get back them into the game, I should say. It would be a perfect time to score if they can uh, for themselves. Nice little turn there. Kai got totally done there. Oh, the shot is there. And it is a goal then for Stoke City. Uh, a minute or so after the added time. So really disappointing to concede so late on in the first half. Uh, but hopefully with the advances we still do take into the break, we can push on into the second period and get ourselves the three points. But good little play there, good pass as well, good little through ball for Nick Powell, and he scores his second Premier League goal of the season and on the stroke of half time. So, an hour played here at the Britannia Stadium. It is still Arsenal who hold on to a 2-1 advantage, and that was played through Kai almost getting past the defender there. In fact, he was taken, he was knocked off the ball, so it is gonna be a free kick here for the Arsenal. Who's gonna be taking it though? It's not gonna be Kai, he's not really the best free kick take oh actually it is going to be Kai uh, so let's see can he bang it in I'm not the best at free kicks and that is a terrible one into it straight into the hands there of the goalkeeper and free kicks is something which I just don't really have any interest in at all learning 
um, throughout FIFA 20. I've not really enjoyed FIFA 20 at all, if I'm totally honest. Uh, so we're hoping for better things in FIFA 21 and, of course, the new generation of consoles. And that is an absolutely fantastic finish from Nicolas Pepe there. Um, new father, of course, gave birth, well, his wife gave birth or his girlfriend gave birth to uh, a newborn in the week. Um, so congratulations there to Nicolas Pepe and hopefully he continues on to have a good season with Arsenal in real life and we have been picking things up in real life as well so it's nice to see us pushing and hopefully we can have a nice little finish and maybe um, challenge for that Champions League spot uh, you never know what could happen still a handful, a handful of games to go uh, but let's finish off this series we've got a minute to play and I think that is going to be about it Stoke City 1, Arsenal 3 and there is the final whistle. So a good way to start today's episode there with three points in the bag. We do have two more games in today's video to check out. So hopefully we can get two more wins as well. This one's going to be a tough one. As you can see, it is against Liverpool. Um, are they top of the table? I have no idea. Um, I didn't really pay attention to the league table at the start there. But this is Wembley. And this is the FA Cup. So... Can we win a little bit of silverware? Hopefully we can. You never really know what could happen. Arsenal, I've got to be one of the favourites. It is the FA Cup, but of course, a strong Liverpool can never be ruled out. So let's see how we get on here then. Can Arsenal pick up some silverware at Wembley Stadium? It would be nice if we can do so. That one's played through. A good chance here early on for Arsenal. Oh, we tried to play that one across the middle, but good defensive work there from Liverpool. And it does go out of play for an Arsenal corner with that corner as well and the goalkeeper misses it shot is there is it going to go over everybody he did but the goalkeeper chased it back and he was there to palm it off the line and keeps the scores at nil nil but two early chances here for Arsenal looking good so far looking positive and we just need to break that deadlock to get ourselves in front another early corner then for the Arsenal again it, it is Kai who swings in and again it is Liverpool who get it clear so it is Iniaki Williams then for Liverpool Back to Mane, and onwards we go. Approaching 20-minute mark, Arsenal still in possession, looking the most likely to break the deadlock, as I said. And they've had the best chances so far in this match, but it's not going to rule Liverpool out at all. Here is Kai, cuts back inside there, go more centrally, but now some space opens up in front of him. Here is Kai, takes off the shot, but the goalkeeper in the right place at the right time. And again, Liverpool making a vital save there. The goalkeeper and the defence keeping them in the game right now. Good save it was there from Alisson. Uh, so 0-0 it is. Another corner it's going to be here for Arsenal. And yet again, it's going to be Kai to swing this one in. And the goalkeeper holds on to that one this time. Uh, good save from him. 21 minutes in. And it is still Arsenal 0, Liverpool 0 here at Wembley Stadium in the FA Cup. So just over half an hour played. A couple of yellow cards already for a couple of the Arsenal players. So they've got to be careful. We don't want to be seeing any red throughout this match. We don't want to be giving Liverpool any advantages. Uh, but here is Van der Beek. Kai's in some space. That's a great ball. There's a shot and that is a great finish as well. Finally, Arsenal have found that deadlock. Arsenal are, uh, are in front by one goal. To nil. And of course, it is the main man, the young French midfielder or left winger, we should say. Kai Kwon who gets that goal there are the Arsenal fans very very happy of course to go in front but you feel it has been coming Arsenal have had the better of the game so far they've had the best chances I don't think our goalkeepers actually had to do anything so far uh, but there is Kai that's his first FA Cup goal of the season I did not know that I thought he had a few to be honest uh, but there you go you learn something new every day or oh, he tried to find Kai there but I think it took a deflection off the defender here is Kai though for Arsenal as Arsenal push forward trying to get a second a bit of space open up here for Arsenal. He plays that one across the middle but somehow it finds its way underneath the goalkeeper's body and crawls across the line to give Arsenal a two goal lead. Arsenal got to be buzzing right now. This is looking absolutely fantastic here for the Gunners. Uh, leading by two goals to nil in the FA Cup final and look at this a little bit of luck goes our way finally. And nothing Van Dijk could do there at the back as he was trying to chase it. But two goals. And that one, look at that, 52nd minute. That's the number on the back of his shirt there, 52. So it's nice to get a little bit of luck in that 52nd minute to give Arsenal a two-goal lead. And just over half an hour to play. Kai cuts inside. Arsenal pushing here for a third. Van der Beek scores. There is the third goal for Arsenal. And this is absolutely fantastic now for Arsenal. 
Now, is this the FA Cup final or is it the semi-final? I think this might be the semi-final, you know. Uh, we should have paid more attention, shouldn't we, to the start. Uh, but nevertheless, it's going to be a victory at Wembley Stadium and a convincing victory as well. Um, so we can't take that away from the Arsenal playing superb football right now. Donny van der Beek, he captures his third goal in the FA Cup so far this season. And uh, let's see, is there going to be more time for more goals? I think there may just be. Let's see, we've got eight minutes. Arsenal on the attack yet again on this left side. Here is Kai, plays that one forward. Is he onside though? Donny van der Beek finds the back of the net and he is onside. That one will count and Arsenal lead four goals to nil at Wembley Stadium against Liverpool. What a performance this has been here for the Arsenal. Been a few days since we've uploaded, so it is nice to see Arsenal back on track with some good performances, some good goals, some good teamwork and some good play. And there is Donny van der Beek scoring his fourth FA Cup goal of the season. And that is, I believe, going to put us into the final of the um, FA Cup. Was that a shot? I think that was a shot. Not sure what's happening there. Uh, we're just waiting for the final whistle to blow. And then we can obviously head into the third and final game of today's episode. Uh, where we're hoping to make it three wins out of three. Let's just wait for the final few seconds to play up here. Liverpool in possession. There is the final whistle then as Marne controls that ball. And Arsenal take a convincing win there against Liverpool in the FA Cup semi-finals. And as you can see, we are going to be taking on Manchester City at Wembley Stadium in the FA Cup final in just a few days' time. So hopefully it is going to be some sort of where we've got this to look forward to as well. We are going to end today's episode with some more cup action in Europe where we face the French champions, Monaco. Now let's see, can we get ourselves through? to another final this is the first leg so um, try and keep a clean sheet if we can um, and then of course take any advantage which we can into that second leg and get ourselves through to the final not sure the other teams which are still in the Champions League will find out after this game maybe or maybe in the next episode uh, but here is Kai charging forward looking for an early goal here for Arsenal but there is the goalkeeper jumping up high and claiming that ball there easy save in the end there for him and he plays that one short and Monaco attack through the middle. But their attack didn't come to anything. So into the second half we do go now. Approaching the hour mark. Still no goals to speak of. Been very, very tight this one. Maybe Arsenal feeling a little bit leggy from that Wembley game just a few days ago. And a little bit of luck almost went our way there. Good block in the end from the Monaco defender. Um, there's going to be a change here for both teams too. Uh, 54 minutes played. Cross comes in there from Kai and it's fell to Pepe on the edge of the area. What's he going to do? He cuts it back, finds some space, lays it off there to Lucas Torreiro. Almost found Pepe on the return. Uh, but that one does go out of play for an Arsenal throw. So still 0-0. Nil -nil. Arsenal on the attack. Looking the most likely to break the deadlock. Here is Kai. A little bit of space in front of him. He gets forced to go backwards a little bit though. And pulls that one back. Still Kai in possession. Finds his teammate Donny van der Beek and almost Arsenal going through to score. But was he offside? Yeah, I think even if that one had found the back of the net, he would have been offside. Yeah, so clear offside there. So it wouldn't have counted, uh, but at least it's some positivity going forward, getting ourselves into the right positions. And just need to hold off that run just a little, just a little bit longer. Um, 7.6 match rating for Kai. Great um, control there from Danny van der Beek. He gets the ball back from Kai. Still in possession. Um, back heels it there and Kai a little bit of space in front of him to run all the way through and here he is takes up the shot goalkeeper makes a save tries to go there with a rebound but the goalkeeper there fastest off the post this time but there finally the third time of asking Arsenal do have that goal which we've been waiting for and Arsenal lead them one goal to nil in the first leg of this Champions League game against AS Monaco at the Emirates Stadium so hopefully we can hold on then and uh, don't concede a goal Look how many chances we had here. So many blocks. And then, of course, the post was there. But it went straight to the feet of Maximiliano Gomez. And he didn't make any mistakes, did he? He buries it into an empty goal to give Arsenal the lead. One goal to nil it is. And now we are heading into the final 20 minutes. 7.7 .7 match rating for Kai. And can we get a second goal? It would be perfect if we can find a second goal. Get this game wrapped up. Take a two-goal advantage into the second leg. Will be quite something. And uh, Gomez again working nicely with Kai. Space opens up. Gomez shoots and scores. He is not going to be missing. 
He has been absolutely fantastic for Arsenal all season. And there he buries yet another goal. So 34 minutes, sorry, 34 minutes played. 74 minutes played then here at the Emirates. Good little assist as well from Kai. Beautiful finish. Goalkeeper, no chance. It is now Arsenal 2, AS Monaco 0. And surely that would be enough then to give us the victory. Let's just wait for the final couple of minutes to play out. Don't concede. And I think that is going to be about it for today's episode, guys. Remember, we do have two more episodes to go in this series. That will be up tomorrow. Um, with episode 65 and then of course it will be finishing with episode 66 on Saturday so there is a final whistle leave a like if you did like today's episode subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll see you in the next one peace